Hello everyone and welcome to Lavalia's Coloring. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch my coloring supplies haul. These are supplies that I've purchased and received as happy mail and also as birthday gifts and they're all from uh, somewhere between July and till now in October. Uh, only one is not coloring related but it's really too cute to not share it with you guys and so this video was supposed to go out earlier um, but I had many problems putting it together. I've been having problems with my iPhone like the battery life. Sometimes my phone will just turn off or don't even record and also as you watch this video um, not this portion of it but the rest of it you will notice a pretty dark blob in this area and you don't see that right now because I am now filming with my new phone yay there are other complications like I was supposed to do this video uh, with both my supplies and with the coloring books but it was too long and my old phone could not handle it so Anyways, uh, that explains why this introduction may look different from the rest of this video. I will most likely post my coloring books video haul or my coloring books haul video at the same time. So I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one and also down below in the video description. So thank you again for stopping by and I hope you enjoy this haul video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the supplies that I received as birthday gifts. And the first of them is this Marco Chroma Magna Manga Color Pencils 24 Colors with Pastel Shades. And this is a gift from the beautiful T. So thank you so much T for this wonderful pencil set. So I do have this swatched which is right here and here is how the pencils look like so there are no names on the pencils so I have them labeled by numbers and you can see it right over here and they do have a white barrel with the color at the end it says chroma super premium Marco and the thing with this pencil if you see this on Amazon because it is available on Amazon uh, under the Marco brand and if you see this set which is also under the Marco brand with 24 colors this has the same exact colors as this one so let me quickly show it to you I did not know until I received it and I was looking at the swatches because I used the same kind and they are <laughs> basically the same colors and they're just like switched around a little bit but pretty much the same exact color so if you have this one or if you have this one don't get the other you're just gonna have doubles I don't mind because I love uh, pastel colors and I'll most likely use it and I know I'll have backups so I, ha I don't have to worry about that but yeah, so these chroma pencils, they color beautifully. I've already used it in a coloring, which I'll share right here. This is the Sock Goblin coloring book. It is a Korean coloring book. And the page I colored in here with the chroma set is this one. And I used it on the pastel colored parts. The reds, browns, and greens are all the Derwent Pro colors but all the rest of the pastel colors are with the Marco Chroma and yeah they color beautifully I think very nice so this is the Marco Chroma Manga colored pencils with 24 colors and again thank you so much T for this wonderful birthday gift next i have three cases that i want to share with you um, all three cases were bought with a gift card that was given to me from my parents so i used it to buy cases i need uh, for my marker so for this one this is the young 
Cole brand and it fits all of my Sharpies and my Bix. So very quickly, I'm going to open this for you. So you can see I have them all sorted by how I have them in my um, swatch book and I have both the fine and then the ultra fine and they are all labeled by their the name of the colors and the reason why I went ahead and got a um, case for it is because even though I have them swatched and they're all labeled and I have them in a bag um, it was just like um, a one zipper bag and I just stuffed it all in there I'm always searching for the color that I'm looking for and I remember watching coloring with Kay when she was sharing a tour of her supplies I believe it was sometime last year but um, I remembered her sharing her case of sharpies and and I always wanted to go ahead and get one but uh, I just never did <laughs> until now so since I was given a gift card uh, for my birthday I decided to put it into getting cases for these markers and so here are my Bix they all fit perfectly in here both the fine and ultra fine so this is the case that I bought for my Sharpies and Bix uh, with the gift card so thank you mama and papa for this case so I'll show you the other two case so next is a marker case for my Ahuhu brush markers and again they were already in a case but they would all get mixed up and with this case they are all in order so when I look at my swatch book I can just immediately take it out I'm not searching for it or anything and then put it back where it belongs and then yeah so it closes like this but I have them open and on top of my bookcase so that I can just take it out really quick um, whichever colors I need so I got a purple one for the Ahuhu and then I got a black one for my Lemouche set and the Lemouche set I'm trying to finish off there are a couple missing holes I've already used up my old set so um, this is my second set of Lemouche's and yeah they're slowly um, going away so yeah um, thank you mama and papa for uh, giving me the gift card so that I can get these wonderful cases for my alcohol markers i also have some little supplies from my cousins they gave me like gift bags and they just stuff like a whole bunch of stuff in here and actually this one is not <laughs> um so i'm using one of the um correction tape that came in this package it's a tokidoki um correction tape so I am using the blue one and then there's a pink one. So I have an extra and I was also given a Tokidoki eraser. So, so cute. And these Rilakkuma sticky notes. Always need some notes. And then also this Unicorno page clips. Um, also Tokidoki. So there was a theme kind of sort of. <laughs> So these are from my cousins and then I also have a Happy Meal. So the Happy Meal, um, there was other, there was coloring books too, but I'm just going to show the supplies right now. And so uh, this pencil pouch and this pencil pouch right over here, they're so pretty. I love the color palettes, um, the peaches and the cream. And this was given to me as a Happy Meal from my good friend Kelly. So thank you so much, Kelly, for these cool pouches. I am already using one of them. I'm going to save this for something else. I know I'm going to eventually use for another supply that I'm going to share with you. But um, yeah, so I am already using this one. And in here is a supply that I hauled. So I bought these spree alcohol markers that um, were on sale for about $11 I believe and there are 50 in here 
and they are the chisel and the brush tip so um, here's the chisel and the brush tip and I wanted to just get some extra ones especially if it's only $11 and I use them for my color by number books and so some of them are already in here which is the colors that I used for the Sun Life drawing coloring books so I just quickly share it with you in here and I also have a Tao tree because uh, the light blue that they have in here that I was using was too too pale so I picked up this light blue from the Tao tree set so yeah so this is the spree markers that were on sale I just want to quickly add this pop funko figurine uh, it's not coloring but it is a version of myself this was a gift from my cousin and um, the funko everett is where is near where she lives so when she went over there they were allowed two figurines each so she built one to look like me so this is my version. I'm not taking it out of the box. I'm going to leave it in there. And it actually has my name right over here. But I covered it because um, it has my like legal name. Uh, Lavelia is actually part of my first name. But it's mostly used by um, family and friends. And I consider you guys friends. So I always use Lavelia here. But yeah, so that's why I'm covering this portion here. But yeah, I'm so my cousin surprised me with this and I just wanted to share it with you because it's so cute yeah to have one of yourself is just like ah <laughs> so yeah so this is the pop funko from my cousin Valerie so thank you so much Valerie I have one more birthday gift and it's one that I bought for myself so this is the supply portion of my gift to myself and I got the rest of the colors that I was missing from my distress ink collection so i was missing sets number sorry for the glare one two and three then i have 13 14 15 and then 16 and then i also got cases for all of them and i did already swatch them out so for one two and three this is how it looks like and i'm sorry for the glare very pretty colors and you can see i'm actually swatching it a lot better here compared to the way i did it here <laughs> it's kind of messy and i think it's because i used the sponges for this and then on this side i used the brush and i like how smooth it looks with the brush so again this is one two and three which is this set here and then for 13, 14, and 15. It is this one. Lots of pretty colors. Very nice. Twisted Citron. Really like that one. And yeah, so this one is 13, 14, and 15. And then for 16, it is these colors. Very pretty. I'm so happy that I finally <laughs> completed my set. I was holding off for a long while. Um, and I'm wondering now if they're going to come out with more sets because I do have extra space. So <laughs> hopefully they do. So this is the supply that I bought myself for my birthday. So these are the Distress Inks. okay so for the rest is my haul um i picked up these dotting tools i don't know if you can see it uh where's the opening oh right here and it was recommended to me so i picked these up and i've already used it so you have one end that is, has like a thick ball on the tip and then here's a smaller tip or smaller ball on the tip and I believe they use this for like nail art um, I don't do my nails but I use this to make dots and 
in my coloring pages. So here's another size. So very useful um, if you want to use it. I used it with acrylic paint. And it doesn't have to be just the white paint. You can use any other color. Um, so far I just only used it with white paint and I used it in this picture right here. So all the white dots. Um, I used two different sizes and just it was very quick. I don't have to keep like making sure the the dot was opaque enough so I was able to just continue on and they're perfect circles so yeah very nice so these are the dotting tools next I have these Tombow uh, mono zero eraser um, I actually lost my er eraser this is the round one and so I went ahead and bought myself the pack that came with the round one and then the one with like the rectangle tip so it has edges and yeah and then this one came with extra erasers I don't know if I misplaced the extra erasers for the round barrel but I do have backups of this one from the one that I got before so yeah so these are the Tombow mono zero erasers the next supply that I hauled uh, actually got this last week uh, this one is the Aeon art glitter gel pens so they are all glitter gel pens there are no like metallics or anything like that I did have a set of gel pens before but I gave them away to my niece because I didn't like just like the regular colors I just wanted glitter gel pens so these are all glitter gel pens it was recommended to me by T from T's world of adult coloring and I also heard about Aeon art glitter gel pens I believe on colorfully optimistic I might have heard it somewhere else also I can't remember right now but yeah so I just picked this up recently I haven't used it yet I haven't swatched it yet but I am going to be doing that and just very quickly I just want to try out the pens so let me find a dark color Let's see this one it's like a brown so this is how the pens look like there is glitter on the barrel it says Aeon Art and hopefully it rides let's see so this is how the pen looks just want to see how yeah no struggle to get the ink out and it's very shimmery very pretty so yeah so I still have to swatch this and I also I can't remember if I said it but I also got this because I want to try to use it in one of the coloring books that I picked up also last week <laughs> so I bought a lot of Amazon coloring books last week just the past um, the last weeks of September and then this week of October um, but anyways um, yeah so this one is the Aeon Art glitter gel pens and I believe this is the 100 pack okay so the last few of my coloring supplies are all of these watercolor um, sets so let me go ahead and share with you this one so this is the opal colors by Gansai Tambi and let me see so go ahead and open it for you so this is how it looks like it looks like it's just all white <laughs> this one is opal pink opal copper opal gold opal green opal blue and then opal violet so I'll go ahead and share with you how it looks like so let me go ahead like this so this is how it looks like if you don't look at this part let me go ahead and cover that here we go 
Okay, so here you can see it's shimmery. You can see the tint of the color. So this one is pink. And then here I have it on the black um, cardstock. This one is the copper color. This one is the gold color. Then you have green, blue, and then violet. Very pretty. So it'd be nice to use like on jewelry, just like that little hint of color. Or if you have maybe an acrylic background, you can add this to add some splash of colors in your background. So yeah, so this is the Kurataki Ganzai Tambi Opal Colors. And I believe these are new because I have the other three sets. So. <laughs> and then next I have this two sets. These are the Boku Undo brand. I think that's the brand name. So this one here is the Aurora set. Let me go ahead and show you how it looks like. Can see I've already used it. So here is how it looks like on both the watercolor paper and on black cardstock. Uh, very shimmery. So you have gold, silver, red, green, blue, and purple. Yeah, very pretty watercolors. So I'll go ahead and put this back. So this one is the Aurora set. And I put the cover behind it. Oh, there you go. Okay. So next is the black shadow. So this one, this is how the pans look. And then here is how The swatch look so just have it like this so you have reddish black yellowish black then greenish black bluish black purplish black and then brownish black very nice colors and I've already used this on a coloring let me go ahead and quickly show it to you I did uh, I used the watercolor in this Chinese coloring book that is called I call it find color but it's by Gugeli G-U-G-E-L-I and the page I watercolored in is this one and I used it on the mountains which you can see I used a greenish black and then for the hair I used the bluish black but it was very faded like like subtle colors like this and because I use such bold colors for the rest of uh, the illustration I decided to go over it um, and I use the Zig clean color real brush but I'll go ahead and put a picture um, on the screen to show you how it looks like with just the Boku Undo And if I colored the rest of the page kind of like in the same kind of um, coloring, if, if it wasn't so bold, it was more subtle colors, then I would have kept it uh, as it is. So the, these are the three right over here. And then I found these little tin box by CSY art gallery on Amazon so I decided to just go ahead and pick it up and try it so this one is the fairy tale set and here is the little pans that come in this set there are I think like six different set but I only picked up these two I like these colors I might pick up the other set I'm not sure so this one is called purple star and yeah so that's how it looks like and there is a bigger set i believe there's like 18 colors i think but um there are some colors that are in the smaller set that are are not in the bigger set so i'm not sure i might just continue just get all these cute little tins with the six colors but here is the swatch card so this one is for fairy tale very nice shimmery 
watercolors and then this one is the purple star yeah very nice so yeah so that is the rest of my coloring supplies that I hauled and from August and no yeah August and September and then October so <laughs> so uh, let me go ahead and put these stuff away and I'll Thank you guys so much for stopping by to watch my coloring supplies haul. I'll have a link to my coloring book haul video pop up at the end of this. And I do hope that you enjoyed seeing the supplies that I've hauled and was gifted. And many, many thanks and love to T, to Kelly, and to my wonderful family. I will see you all in my next video. And please take care, keep safe, and many happy colorings. Bye-bye.